and also fee transparency rules. So because I know there's a few let only landlords in here, I'm not sure whether you use agents to find tenants or not. But what I'm going to say to you is if you are advertising your own properties on any form of portal or in any way, you have to be clear on any fees that you charge them and you have to have those fees clearly displayed. Okay? Um, and that does now extend to any portals that you use. And that includes Facebook, Twitter, Gumtree. Um, we don't quite know they're going to do that with Twitter because I don't use Twitter, but apparently like there's a, ma a minimum or maximum <coughs> amount of characters that you can have. Uh, but it, it's important. As I said to you earlier, the enforcement on this, I think, is going to be huge. It's going to be trading standards and all the district councils. Now, remember when district councils issue fines now, who gets to keep the money? The council. So they are looking to fill in their pot so that they can get more staff and they can make a bit of money, okay? So if you end up taking a prohibited payment, my advice to you is um, returning it immediately and apologising to the tenant. <laughs> um, and document that you've returned it within the amount of days that you'd realised or the moment you'd realised you'd returned it, in particular with your deposits and such. Um, because it is £5,000 for the first offence and up to £30,000 for further offences within five years. Now, you guys should know by that they're looking to get rid of the bad agents because an agent will not sustain these level of fees if they continue to take prohibited payments. So, for example, if I took a prohibited payment today, tomorrow, the next day, within one week, I'm going to be given 30 grand fine. They are trying to get rid of the rogues, and for that, I'm thankful. Um, but the problem here, guys, is that this applies to landlords as well, so the same penalties would apply to you if you're in breach of this legislation.